Hello and welcome one and all to yet another edition of What's in the Fucking Bag, which I assure you all again for the millions, you know, I've, I've lost count of how many times I've opened with this, that I'm totally doing this with my free will. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, definitely. Um, yes, today's guest is probably one of my favorite queens. I know, shock, right? from this season, and you'll never guess who. Mallory, Mallory Moko Marshall. Oh my god, I can't believe you're an early out this season. I had you pegged to go farther than that. What happened, girl? Hey! Eliza, I know, I like got sent home a little bit early-ish and it wasn't really my intention obviously to go home that super early but you know like you plan ahead but sometimes the plan doesn't work out like how you think and so when you're placed in the bottom it's a split second decision and you either win or you lose in my case I lost unfortunately I mean, judging from the looks that you brought for this season that I've seen, it's apparent you have some taste, which makes me feel good that I rooted for you because, you know, I wasn't rooting for someone like, you know, clairvoyant, <laughs> loser, and like, I could tell that you have, besides taste, you have talent. And it just seems to me like you were on a challenge that you, I personally thought you did pretty well in. And it was just a matter of there were other performers, other actors that were just slightly better than you. And it was just an opportunity to get rid of one other queen. That's my opinion. Actually, I was thinking along similar lines. But I'm going to be honest with you, Eliza. I think that I just kind of screwed up in the challenge. It wasn't really like how I wanted it to be. And I just kind of lost my footing, like the runway for that the Chic Le Freak challenge, I thought was good, but it could have been better. And I had this concept in mind and it just turned out that the execution was not as good as the thought of the planning. Oh, well, before we get too carried away, Mallory, what's inside your bag? What's in your bag, Mallory? Let's take a deep dive into the bag. So out of these three looks that you brought with us today, Mallory, I really like your I don't really like your future queen's look. I'm just going to go out and say it. I don't really like it. I do, however, really like your talent show look, which you didn't bring. I like your YouTube reveal look. This is this magenta reddish pink dress with the flowers. I like that one. I like a lot of people's YouTube reveal looks, and I get that it was filmed post-season, which is maybe why perhaps a lot of queens look better done up in that than they did on the season. But I'm liking a lot of the queens' reveal looks better than their actual <laughs> season looks. I really, I like the idea for your Le Chic Le Freak look, and I get the concept. It was supposed to be Wednesday Adams. And I'm not trying to, you know, like, what do the kids say? I'm not trying to, like, not let you cook, as the kids say these days. I'm not trying to, like, tell you how to do your job. But I think this look would have been a million times better if you done maybe like some pale face makeup, worn some like creepy contact lenses, had like the same hair as Wednesday, and instead of a blue Wednesday dress, maybe make it black, maybe? And 
I think it would have been Le Chic Le Freak. Because Wednesday on her own is freaky, but it doesn't, like, the judges would just be like, oh, this looks just like whatever. But, you know, because we know how it is, Mallory. We know how it is. So just coming from one queen to another, I would have just done what I had just said. And I think you would have, like, probably not been at the bottom. Like, I really wanted to do the Wednesday Adams thing, like, totally had that in mind, but they didn't have the dress in black. Can you believe it? Girl, that's why you just paint it black. Jeez, like, you know, pull out some eyeliner or, like, black nail polish. She's got a town on it. Even some shoe polish. Jeez. So, I really don't like your future queen of the world look. I think I've already said this, but it's just such a terrible look for such a pretty queen, Mallory. I just... I don't get it. I'm looking at it on my tablet. I know they're behind me, but that's for, like, you know. That's for the people watching on TV, by the way. I'm doing this for you people. I don't like it. It's a bad look, Mallory. I like your Wednesday Adams Le Chic Le Freak look way better. And if you had actually done it how it should have looked, then I don't think you would have been in the bottom. That's my opinion. So, speaking of which, what would you have done for Snatch Game? Who would you have impersonated for Snatch Game? I, you, inquiring minds want to know, Mallory. Who would you have done for Snatch Game? OMG, Snatch Game. I probably would have been Karen Parsons as Hillary Banks because she's kind of like a ditzy airhead, kind of like myself. Or, like, Voorhees as Lisa Turtle, because kind of similar. I guess that like that's all I can really think about, because it's like I'm obsessed with the 80s and 90s, so I don't really watch modern television. So that's probably who I would have been. And I think I would have pulled it off, too. I think I probably would have avoided being the model if I made it to Snatch Game. Wow, Mallory, that's really interesting, because most people probably would have chosen Beyonce or Rihanna... Or now that it's like the 2020s, uh, Megan V. Stallion or Doja Cat or um, that other chick who is singing about her vagina. I can't remember. Anyway, this has been such a fun sit down chat. And I honestly wish that you could have gone further, sis. And I think it sucks that you didn't because you were like kind of like Argyle's little aunt on the show, like her little confidant, her little friend. And then you're gone and you know it's probably not the same yeah like you plan to be on the show and you envision going a lot further than sometimes you actually end up being but i believe in just like speaking things into existence like the very fact i made it onto the show even like going home third is like you know it's amazing because there's so many other queens who want to get on the show, and they don't. So I look at myself as very lucky for that. Good talking to you, sis. I'm going to go ahead and close out the show. So this has been another fun, and actually fun edition of What's in the Bag for once. I mean, Jesus, like, ever. Tune in next week, where I judge a lip-sync smackdown between Helen Keller and Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> Exciting stuff.